All right, Scott, what do we have here? So this is a replica of the 1967 Le Mans winning Mark IV GT40 made by RCR Replicas in Detroit. So it's got a Cleavor, a combination Cleveland Windsor uh, 351 stroke to a 427. So it makes 540 horsepower, 539 pound feet of torque. And it's 37 inches tall, so it's kind of like a GT37, not a GT40. Um, but I've never seen a Mark IV replica, so it's got the longer tail instead of a wedge at the back that Mark II's had. 66 winning if you saw Ford versus Ferrari. This car was on set. And it was going to be used in the second to last scene when Dan Gurney pulls up to the hangar. But they got into a little bit of a money fight over using the car. So they just doctored up a Mark II for that scene. So it never went in the movie. But I've never seen a Mark IV replica. So when I saw that my friend uh, Todd Rosenthal from Naples Motorsports had the car, I said, you got to send that to me so I can market it and sell it for you. So this is a really, really rare piece. Uh, if it were original, the only one that exists, there were 12 made, they're J cars. The only red car that won 67 is owned by Ford, and it's hard to say. I mean, it's probably worth $10 million. This car uh, value is yet to be determined, but it is a very faithful replica, and it's a blast to drive. What would you guess if you had to put a, a figure? Uh, you know, plus or minus 300 grand. It's it's pretty unusual. There was a lot of handwork and the chassis is spectacular. The original 12 cars were a little challenged. They had a new process for making the chassis and it was a little challenging and not so sure that they actually were uh, vetted out as well as what this car has become. So basically we got the style and allure of the 67 car with all the modern technologies that would be so much better when you're actually driving it. And it is air conditioned too. <laughs> That's kind of nice. Which, the, of course, the real car, it would have been right hand drive. There'd be a lot of subtle changes, but they're one off knockoff wheels that were made specifically to look the same. So it's, it's a pretty fun car.